My name is Rhonda Garrard and I work at Family Planning Victoria and I am the General Manager of Health Promotion, uh, Policy and Data. And one of the best and most compelling reasons for the council and organisations like us to have inclusive policies is because it makes really sound financial sense. That using, uh, providing targeted, effective, um, early prevention interventions has enormous cost savings down the track. So that if we understand who our audience is, who our customers are, who our community is, if we really understand understand what their needs are and if we can develop effective uh, ways of engaging with them then the costs to the council, the costs to the community and the benefits for all of the community are very very strong. We know that groups that are disengaged and we know that the costs of disengagement are really, really uh, strong. At a financial level, we know that groups that are excluded will have higher, um, poorer health outcomes. We know they're less likely to engage with the educational system. We know that their literacy levels are likely to be lower. And we know their sense of disengagement is also likely to be lower. So this also has an outcome in terms of social participation. So groups that don't feel included will have a sense of being uh, disaffected and that we've seen groups in our community develop um, in response to a sense of feeling disengaged. So for many, many good reasons, it is vital that organisations like the council, health organisations like us, um, organisations across the board have really effective inclusive policies and have really effective strategies to engage um, with all uh, of the diverse groups within their communities. One of the key areas that's really, really important to engage with, um, with communities is in the early life stage. So we know that the first thousand days of a child's life are critical to how the rest of that, child, that person's life will go. So having really strong maternal and child policies is critical to ensuring that the individual can overcome some of the uh, constraints in their own life. Good, strong health education and, and social policies directed at that child can often overcome some of the uh, environmental barriers that they may be facing. And the council is well placed and the service providers uh, are really well placed to be able to affect that change for that individual's life. One of the things that we do at family planning is try and identify who are the people we're not reaching by their nature marginalised groups will not present and will not engage with organisations. So it's really imperative that organisations have proactive policies to go out into the community, to engage with communities, to speak to them, to understand their needs and to design programs that work for them at the design phase. What a lot of organisations do is develop programs for the general community and as, a, as an afterthought to design programs for the marginalised. This never works and often the resources run out or the expertise is not there. So we need to change our focus and when we're designing any program we need to understand the diverse needs of the whole of the population and we can only do that by effectively engaging with them. One of the problems most organisations have is that we have policies which are inclusive, but when it comes to implementing those policies at a program level, we often don't have the knowledge or the expertise in how to do that. In a, in a rate capping environment, in a resource restricted environment, it is even more important to start to engage with minority groups because the costs that those that, that disengaged people will have on the services of the council will forever keep increasing and the need for crisis intervention will exponentially increase um, in relation to the level of engagement. So the less we are engaged with these groups, the more services are engaged in crisis management. And this is uh, an enormous cost burden on any organisation. My point is that early engagement and effective engagement um, with minority and, and diverse groups will have um, resource saving impacts at the end of the spectrum where we're spending less resources on crisis management and that these communities are more empowered to be making um, effective changes within them which uh, will have benefits to that community and to the wider community.